Hello everybody, we're back with another review. This one is of the Samsung Galaxy S2. Because of the uh, release of the Samsung Galaxy S3 coming up, this phone actually has gone down on price to about uh, for a very scrubbed up phone, uh, scratched up phone, uh, dropped a few times, between $250 and $300. Between uh, a used but in great condition, you can find between $300, $350 and brand new, just like this one, just about $400. But yeah, you can find great deals out there everywhere. As far as the phone itself, it's a nice big screen, great camera, a megapixel camera, and the pictures do come out great, including the video. It does have a front-facing camera, I believe it's a 1.5 uh, megapixel. The processor is a uh, 1.5 gigahertz dual-core processor. Extremely fast phone. No lagging at all. It's always, uh, this Android version, I'm sorry, this Android ver version is 2.3.6. And it is does have a Samsung UI on top of it, which I actually I do like a lot. Extremely great and fast. As far as the uh, the screen itself, it does have a small bluish tint. Even though you can uh, you have great viewing angles, as you can see, very very bright screen and nice and big as well. So you can actually play your uh, videos and. Uh, We go. Let's just test it out here. And as you can see, it is very fast. That beast outside yours? What? What? What do you mean, beast? We have your RV. Oh, the yes. Nice, the right? Is, uh... Last but not least, the battery is actually removable. The, though the cover is a little bit, I mean, it feels very, very flimsy. It is, feels very sor solid when the uh, it's put right on top of the phone and everything closed up. The battery, I believe, is 1800 milliamps, and it does pretty much last me a good 12, 14 hour day without recharging. I mean, I should be able to go a good 24 hours with it without recharging at all with a moderate use. There's your uh, SIM card and the SD card slot in the back, easily removable back cover. As far as the speaker, it's actually nice and uh, loud. I mean, it's, it's it's loud enough for ringtones and stuff like that. No issues at all whatsoever. Another little gripe of mine is the uh, the unlock button. Though it's on the side because of the phone, it's actually kind of big. You sh you know, instead of going all the way up here on the top, you got it now on the side right here. Um, but it's extremely sensitive. Um, it could be in your pocket, and it just kind of you know kind of presses it. And it unlocks when I guess when it rubs against your uh, your your pants, uh, the inside of your pants. Uh, somehow it unlocks. I don't I don't know why, but it does unlock. That's pretty much one one of my other little gripes. I mean, it's really not much. Samsung Galaxy S2. It's actually a really great phone. And if you do already have this phone, I I I wouldn't upgrade to the Samsung Galaxy S3 yet. I think this phone has a lot of life left on it. Um, though I only keep phones for a very short time and then I resell them uh, just because of my reviews this is actually a great phone that you would like to keep around um, and use the only oh I forgot about to mention uh, if you do have this phone with T-Mobile and you do use the um, the Wi-Fi tethering um, the I've noticed that now T-Mobile is charging $15 a month for you to turn on the turn on the uh, Wi-Fi tethering, which is kind of a, a asshole move because AT&T, I believe, is doing it, and 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 Verizon is doing it as well. They shouldn't charge for your data; it's your data. You should be able to share it with your devices if you want it, not pay an extra fee on top of it. One way around it, though, is that, um, well, at least what I've done, um, is share it with the key S uh, service between this phone and another key S or Samsung phone or device, and it will share it no problem. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that T-Mobile is starting to do that. Um, they, they're going to start losing a lot of customers. Um, Especially if other companies start like giving out uh, tethering, Wi-Fi tethering, uh, a no extra charge. But anyways, Samsung Galaxy S2. It is a great phone, very versatile, 
and I like it. I mean, I personally like it. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Take care.